Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. <clears throat> Today we're going to be working on the top side of the motor. Uh, we're going to put our knock sensors back in. Uh, I got the new LS6 style uh, valley cover. You can see where I had to notch the block. I have one of the early blocks, so I had to uh, notch it uh, so that the valley cover will clear. <clears throat> uh, the other thing I'll, I'll point out, I didn't do a video on it, but um, it's a good idea if you're this far into it, go ahead and install a new uh, oil pressure sensor. Uh, they're back here at the back of the block. Uh, it'll be behind the intake manifold, uh, so it's difficult to get to without doing some significant uh, disassembly in the future, <clears throat> and they're known for going bad. Um, so I put a little heat tape around mine as well. Uh, may or may not help, but anyway, I did a new sensor. Um, so hopefully that will save me some headache uh, should that sensor go bad. Okay, so we'll start with installing uh, the valley cover. Uh, if you've installed any uh, rags to keep debris and whatnot out of the uh, the motor, that's great. But make sure you take those out before you put the valley cover on or you'll have a problem. Alright, so press down on the, uh, the valley cover you have to seat it around the pedestals for the uh, knock sensors and then just get the bolts uh, started by hand just to make sure everything lines up correctly and you can zip them in with an impact and then we'll come back with the torque wrench okay and then um, the uh, torque spec for the valley cover bolt is 18 foot pounds. Okay, and then I recommend running uh, through the torque sequence one more time just to make sure as that gasket compresses, uh, you've got, still got an even uh, torque spec on all your bolts. Okay, so now we can install um, our knock sensors. Uh, depending on the age of your vehicle and the condition, uh, it may be worthwhile uh, to replace these. <clears throat> uh, they're not uh, terribly expensive, um, $35, $40, something like that, depending on wh where you buy them. Uh, it's certainly <clears throat> a fair amount of work to get back to these, so uh, that's, that's up to you, though. So these install, they just screw down in there. You can use, a, I think it's a 22 millimeter or 7 8 uh, socket. And then the torque spec for the knock sensors uh, is 15 foot pounds. Okay, uh, so our valley cover and our knock sensors are installed. Uh, we can keep moving with the, uh, the rest of the installation.